Hi dear loves, I'm Nicole and I'm coming to you in between my two coaching sessions that I've got. I got back to back. So I wanted to reach out to you and tell you, one, this energy that we're feeling this week is go-getter energy. We've seen that in our spiritual guidance and I'm feeling it. And I wanted to give you, and I'll put the link down below of our weekly spiritual guidance, but look into it because it's January 29th through February 4th. I want you to up, up to receive your blessings. I want you up to, to obtain your goal. And this week's energy is all about that, okay? The other video that I really want you to look at is our February overall energy. This is eclipse season. Now, I'll have our sun, moon, rising, and ascendant and cusp sign uh, videos out this week okay I absolutely will do that but I've been, been pouring a lot of energy into individual coaching sessions and so I encourage you to look into those packages as well but back to the reason why I'm reaching out to you at this time this week is passion this week is go get what is on your soul don't let fear hold you back we have that option to make we have a choice to make dear loves in this life we get one beautiful life to live okay one. When we come back, we are not ourselves. We are not. I won't come back as Nicole. I won't come back in, in this body. I won't come back in this form. Okay? My soul will travel and I will be reincarnated in a different form when I come back to this to this world. Okay? To the existence of whatever world I'm blessed to be in. Spiritually. I will always exist spiritually you will always have your soul you will always be your spiritual being because you are a spiritual soul okay that being said this week manifest what it is that you seek if it's going back to school if it's getting a better relationship with your with your partner with your mate if, if it's getting uh, deepening your relationship with your children your child if it's understanding that now your kids are grown and they need to get out of the house this is the time for you to speak your truth and to to say it to be up front and be direct and to not you know what that saying is not pussyfoot around have you ever heard that saying I used to hear that all the time and I used to say it all the time because I heard it all the time so what that is is don't be passive aggressive be direct because your passion needs to come out it needs to surface and it's it is it's beaming to surface it wants to come out it's that charge it's that drive and that's the energy we have this week so if you need to honor your own needs first and not care about that woman or that man because you're not taking care of yourself, do that. Take care of your needs. Do the things that make you happy. Okay, pass the test that you need to pass. Go in and enroll in school like you need to and stop giving your energy over to the spirit of lack. We have that choice to make. We have a choice. Let me tell you how the energy how I'm using the energy and it happens like that okay so I felt the energy coming in last week and it was it's a passion it's intense it's your libido it's your drive it's the go get it it's the chase I'm gonna I'm on the chase I want what I want and I'm gonna get what I want I'm a pit bull when it comes to spiritual warfare and I'm a pit bull when it comes to spiritual or psychic attack okay and that and it comes in whether it's directed at me or a loved one so I was feeling it last week right now this week passion go after what you want fierce fierce energy over your family and your loved ones so what happens this week let's see it was uh, I think it was Saturday where I felt the energy coming to me my body was giving me indicators that spirit was talking to me my body was giving me indicators I was seeing visions that were ugly really negative images evil images excuse me I could feel that 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 wave of someone's gonna be attacked and I couldn't tell if it was me I couldn't tell if it was a family member but I knew it was gonna be somebody somebody close to me if it wasn't me directly that was being spiritually attacked there was energy coming in like this you could feel the enclosure okay so many of my dear loves you know what I'm talking about it is that feeling that you cannot escape okay so I'm feeling it instantly go into prayer mode meditate 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 close my eyes this is what I saw snaky looking images I could hear them slithering around in my mind's eye I could hear it okay I could see it and I could hear it 
And I wanted to open my eyes back up. But my soul was saying, you got to see it. You got to see it. You got to see it because you're being called to help, right? Okay, so this is the hard part about being a spirit guide. This is that. This is the stuff that isolates you from other people because they can't understand what you're seeing because it's in your mind's eye. It's your spiritual sight. It's your third eye. You see it. They don't. You're meant to go through it because it's your calling. It's your life purpose, okay? You're supposed to use it to help someone else first help yourself. Okay, so I want to open my eyes because I'm hearing it. It's coming closer. I, it's just enclosing. Okay, they were steel snakes. They were like metal. So I could hear them grinding and slithering. It was gross. It was uncomfortable. It was disgusting. It was evil. You could he, you could just feel that it was not. It wasn't okay. It wasn't. It wasn't of God. So. Uh, immediately, once I recognize that energy, that it is an attack. Okay, it's spiritual attack. It means you can't fight it with your human anything. Okay, automatically go into prayer mode for protection for myself, for my family, for my vessel, which is my body, my spirit, my soul. Okay, and for my family because I've been aware of my spiritual gifts long enough to know. How spirit comes to me, and how and what the meaning to those, to our to my signs are. Okay, so, okay, going through prayer, Archangel Michael, um, Baha'u'llah, Abdul Baha, Jesus, Muhammad. I mean, who's coming to me? That's who I'm calling on, and I'm thinking. Okay, I'm I'm thanking them for their protection, and of course I'm thanking Divine Source because Divine Source sends our messengers of God, our angels, our spirit guides, our helpers, okay? Before I knew it, because the spirit realm is limitless, it is timeless, the vision that I got was just placid, just black, just plain black, the images went away just like that, okay? And then all of a sudden, I could see uh, beautiful orbs of different energy coming at me, and it was very soft, very soothing, and I could feel a rushing come down over my body while at the same time I could feel an energy birthing through me, okay, meeting. It was simultaneous, okay, which was a calm. And I remember exhaling. I just remember exhaling. And then my the images were of different uh, parts of my chakra colors of my primary seven primary chakras okay and then the clarity just came I felt calm I felt like everything was okay and I heard you will see I opened my eyes totally different feeling over my body my vessel okay so that's a that's a big big deal and that's something that happens to me all the time and when it happens to you it may freak you out at first at second at third at tenth at a hundredth okay because you know you're being called as a spiritual warrior you have a mission so let me tell you what the mission was that that was it the next day because I did that at night the next day my father reaches out to me who is in a rehab nursing facility and says Nicole they're trying to kick me out of here now I just went to New York to straighten this out to make sure my father was good okay now going to the energy that we're that we have this week this is pit bull go get it energy okay so immediately I'm like what you know, okay, all right, it's on now, because you know sometimes you you deal with different people, different energies, different agendas, right? But this is my dad, so we're gonna make sure he's cared for, he's taken care of, okay? Especially in his most vulnerable state, okay? Long story short, because I know I'm, I can I can talk about this, right? This is my passion, 
And I really want you to be able to recognize it for yourself because many of you are going through these experiences and you don't have anyone to talk about it with and you don't know what's going on and so it's scary and it's easier for you to ignore it and just shoot it under the rug and close your eyes to it and just pray for it to all go away and it doesn't go away and you're like oh my gosh what the heck is going on with me why am I experiencing this because you have a calling and the time is now for you to answer that calling because heaven is going to continue to reach out to you because you're that special you're that powerful you're a warrior Okay, you're a light worker. You're an earth angel. And you're meant to shine. Okay? So So I get started. Okay. We've got a job to do, and that is to make sure my father is okay. And so what do I do? Get on the phone. Got to make some calls, we got to make some things happen. Did I care about what anyone had to say? Absolutely not. This is my daddy. Okay, this is a family member. That's the energy that we have this week. You care so much about your family being wronged. You're looking out for your loved ones. Fierce, fierce energy um, for loved ones. Okay, fierce energy. Now, Aries energy is fierce over their family. Okay, you can say what you want about Aries energy. They're fierce about their family about the ones that they, they feel are family, not the ones that biologically have to be family, but the ones that are their family, could be friends. They're fierce protectors over the ones that they feel are family. They consider family, okay? So we have that warrior energy, that passionate, go get it, take charge, pioneering energy. And so that's what I did. Now, I called everybody under the sun, including the ombudsman, the state license board, Okay, including everybody, everybody, so that we could make sure my dad was protected, he is safe, he is secure, and he is comfortable. Okay, so that's what you do. When you use this energy, it is go after what you need. Go after what you need and, and get it. Lay that, that foundation and go get it. But this energy is take care of your needs this week. So I encourage you to look at the video. I'll put the link down below to January 29th through February 4th week's energy which is this week and uh, I got pulled away I was gonna go out and do my little walk uh, I've lost eight pounds so I'm happy about that on our 90 day challenge I've been doing it and uh, I've been going for I was gonna walk because it snowed I've been doing jogging again which really feels wonderful to my body my vessel and our vessel houses our soul so that's where that connection is with health and wellness and spiritual life coaching for me okay because it's one and the same for me so use this energy to combat your fears to speak your truth okay to tell that person how you really feel about them and leave it to go after that person that you got a crush on and to speak your truth because the bottom line is as you manifest your greatness good things come you know there's no fear in telling someone that you really love them and you care about them and you'd like an, an exclusive relationship. There's no fear in that because we've all been rejected and so let's say that they do reject you. What does that say about yourself? That you spoke up for yourself. That you didn't ignore what your truth was and you said it and that took tremendous courage to do that. Let's say that you walked away from a toxic commitment. To someone and yeah we commit to that toxicity don't we I've been there I've done it and I'm gonna share that with you I'm gonna share a whole lot of stuff with you on our future webinars why because it's my truth you know I'm a living example and because if I can help one person that's what I'm gonna do so let's say you walked away from this toxic commitment right because your soul is saying you know I deserve an un unconditional you know healthy commitment to another person and so this warrior energy this week is, you know, I deserve that healthy, unconditional, loving commitment from another. And so he or she calls you this toxic commitment that you're walking away from. You, got, you still got one leg and one arm in there. They call you. What you doing? And you're like, first, you would have said, oh, nothing. When you were on your way out the door to go meet someone. 
or you just made it in your mind and your soul that night to just be on your own or to go treat yourself or to stay in and be comfortable and you're feeling all good. And then all of a sudden, you get that call. What you doing? Or you get that text. Hey, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then your energy begins to change and you're like, This is that time to say nothing. You don't have to respond to the text message. This is that time to say, how you doing? This is that time to speak your truth when they say, can I come over? No. You don't have to respond. And you can speak your truth. You know? And you can say, well, you know what? I don't want to be sex buddies. I don't want to be sexual partners. I don't want to be just friends. I like you more than that. And if you don't want a relationship with me or you don't want to deepen our friendship or take it a step further, that's okay. It's all good because you know your value, you know your standards, and you know your self-worth. And if you don't know it yet, you're getting there. This is eclipse season coming. Changes are happening for a huge reason, propelling you to the next level of your spiritual existence and your earthly plane, your life. Okay, so your adult child can't get their butts out the house. They need to go get a job. Okay, you can go tell them, Ma, can I borrow uh, 40 bucks? Can I borrow 20 bucks for gas? No, you cannot. But I will loan you $20 to go uh, job searching. How about that? I'll loan you the $20, and by the end of the month, I want my money back because by the end of the month, you're going to have a job. I'll loan you $20 to go get an interview done, to, to, to lay on that interview, okay? That, I mean, this, this is go get it energy. This is speak your truth energy. And this is, I really don't care how I'm being received. Uh, might be a little tactless, but I'm going to speak my truth. You know what? The other end is going to respect you because they know what they're getting. It is what it is. That's the energy. Okay, so I got to get ready for my next coaching session. We've got weekly a uh, spiritually guided five free spiritually guided readings on Saturday at 11 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the link is already out there. I will send it out again. Uh, or you know what I'll do? I'll put it down below again. I'll put it somewhere up here, up here, wherever you know. Um, I think that's three links now that I'm supposed to put on this one video, and I will do that. Uh, the investment is $20. Normally, I charge $200 um, for a reading, um, anywhere from $65 to $200, I should say. And so this is a $20 investment, plus you're getting an hour and a half of spiritual life coaching, peer group coaching from me and your fellow light workers, the fellow community. And guess what? My colleagues are on the call sometimes. So there's people that are light workers that are you're experiencing things that you are that are sharing so much information and so much knowledge that we can immediately apply to our spiritual journey and to our life. So that's big. So that's a weekly call. We've got twelve a twelve week uh, course here. Our second course is. Uh, one, two, three, four. Saturday, February 4th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will put the link down below. There is a $20 investment. And I could absolutely ask you to invest more, but I'm not because I love you guys and because that's all that we need in order to keep it going. I have to um, give you valuable content, and you are precious to me. So absolutely be on the call next Saturday. And that's it, $20 investment. And you're able to keep uh, the replay. The replay is up for 40 hours after that. And so I, I can tell you that we had, we had a good turnout for our first class. And everyone that wanted a reading got a reading. And um, it was accurate, very accurate. So that's it's just a blessing that this is able to happen. So next week's or this week's class is on grounding yourself. So light workers card readers, energy workers, Reiki, all of that, doctors, 
make sure you're on the call massage therapist there's grounding techniques that you have to use and i am a massage therapist right that was part of my journey that got me here and i served a celebrity clientele in atlanta georgia um and people on the um, stock exchange so i can tell you some things that i pray will help you and to manifest your greatness you don't want to be struggling doing your business this is light work energy and honey if you don't take care of yourself and ground yourself you will exhaust yourself you know my massage therapists that burn that um blow their thumbs out reiki masters that absorb their clients energy all of you there's ways that you can stop that and i want to help you do that i've massaged rabbis okay which was a trip i mean it just tripped me out that little old me was massaging rabbis that have traveled the globe telling me nicole you're the best massage therapist i've ever had can we have another session and i'm like well wait a minute give me some you know rest on my fingers i'll massage your fingers what from a rabbi so honey i got some stories to share with you and i got some good stuff and the only reason i can do that is because i've paid attention to the signs god has blessed me to be in this mission that I'm in right now, the level of ascension that I'm in right now, so that I could share it, okay? It's not meant to be contained, and I can hardly contain, you know, I can't contain the good energy. It's impossible for me, and I'm glad it is, because could you imagine, gosh, I, I just would, I would explode, so we don't want that to happen. So get on the call. We also have our next free webinar on uh, February, is it February 7th? Let me look on here. February 7th so we've got that and we've got that call is free it's at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time um, I will put the link down below also so look in the description box that's right under the, under the title of our video here today hit the little the triangle the upside down triangle or uh, pyramid and it'll open up if it says I think it says show more or something like that or see more but you'll be able to see all of the links on the webinars and the uh, spiritual life coaching group sessions that we have and uh, so yeah so the February 7th webinar is free all are welcome it is on how to communicate with our angels and I got some stuff to share with you and I got some truths to some truth bombs that you're seeing you know you're seeing from people and I uh, just want to share my take on it and I want to share with you my personal stories out there to you that I've received and why I've been able to um, thrive and flourish and why I'm happy you know why I've, you know why I'm a woman that has children that was told that I would die and my babies would die and that they would never happen. I want to tell you the stuff that how God communicates through angels and I want you to be able to recognize when Spirit is speaking to you through angels because it happens to all of us. There's absolutely a formula, okay? You're going to be privy to that formula on the call on February 7th, okay? So how to... Uh, speak with our angels how to have angelic communication how to communicate with the angelic realm that's february 7th at 11 a.m eastern standard time and so thank you so much i'm going to go ahead get some water before my next coaching session and i really love you guys you are helping me live my dream i always knew that i was needed in this capacity but i was in a place and time where people didn't want to hear what i had to say and they thought i was crazy and it got to the point where i was thinking i was crazy and so for those dear loves that are listening to me now you're not crazy you are not crazy okay you're not crazy you're not crazy you're not crazy. The spirit realm is always communicating with us. Okay? Is it always of God? No. So I want to help you so that you know how to deal with ungodly energy. And you know how to accept godly energy. Beautiful energy. Unconditional energy. Okay? So, let me go. I love you guys. Thank you so much for rocking it out with me on our 90 day challenge. Thank you for understanding uh, that I'll have the February individual readings out this week. Thank you for looking at the overall February energy uh, video that's out there. Thank you for looking at our weekly energy. 
And thank you for staying tuned and loving on me and loving on each other. Namaste, dear loves, and I'll see you soon.